Hello, I am Sarah, and today we are going to see how to request our data on Meta platforms. To start, we open Google Chrome or any other browser on our computer, and we go to Facebook.com. It is possible that our profile appears on the left side, and we can enter by clicking. If not, we enter our email or phone number and the password, and click Login. Once we are on the main page, we go to the upper right corner and click on the icon with our profile picture. Then we click where it says Settings and Privacy, and next, on Settings. A window will open with multiple options. On the left side, in the box with the statement, Accounts Center, we click on the blue letters at the bottom, where it says, More Information. In the Accounts Center, Here we see the different meta service accounts that are associated with our user, in my case, Facebook.com, Instagram, and Meta Horizon. If you don't see your Instagram account here, but you have it, add it using the Add Accounts button. When you have added them, in the left menu, click on your information and your permissions, and then on Download your information. A central window opens where you need to click again on the Download or Transfer Information button. Here our different accounts appear. We will click on Select All and then on Next. Now it asks us how much information we want. We will click on the first option, titled Available Information. At this point, we will configure various options. The first is the date range. We click on that tab and select from the beginning. Now we click Save, and it returns us to the previous menu. We make sure that the notification email is ours. Then, we click on the Format tab and select the JSON option. This step is important. Once selected, we click Save. Finally, in the Multimedia Quality tab, we click and select the Low option. We save, and to finish, we click on the Create Files button at the bottom. Now we can see that our request is in progress. It usually takes a few hours to process, so we recommend following the steps in this video again the next day, until you click on the Download Information tab and reach the menu, now displayed to check the status of our request. We also receive an email to notify us that it is ready, but it may end up in the spam folder or, for example, in the social or notifications tabs. In the case that we use Gmail, for that reason it is better to check it manually in this menu. In the next video, we will see how to download the file when it is ready and how to send it to the project managers.